hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Trisha this is going to be a eight month uh, update on my microdermal piercings guys my piercing rejected <laughs> I'm so sad my piercing rejected one of them anyway because I had three uh gosh it was a nightmare um okay so I had already posted a video of me going through the process of getting my piercings and so it's been eight months um my piercing started to bother me i'm gonna say all three of them started to bother me around the fourth to fifth month and they alternated um but one of them just consistently kept bothering me so i contacted contacted my piercer went to get him checked out and he told me to just keep doing the same thing with the sea salt and the compress and just keep doing that and it still never got better um like one week it'll get better then a week after it would just stop it would just start again and that was because of me not remembering the rule of placement just remembering that you have piercings on your face you have to be careful no matter what you do um even if you can't feel them there and that's the problem i couldn't feel them there anymore on my face so like I didn't sleep on that side, um, but it was just, you know, I'd have my hands like this and somehow I kind of snagged at it and shifted the placement of the actual base. And so it started to tilt, it got swollen, it started to get pussy. And then all of a sudden you can see the base lifting and then it just pushed out. It just came falling out like yesterday. It came right out and it's not like I can go and and get I couldn't have gotten my piercer to remove it because we're in quarantine you know go figure we're in quarantine nobody can do anything right now so you know and I'm gonna say it was a blessing because me having the rejection allowed for minimal scarring if I had gone when there was a problem and he had cut it out, I probably would have gotten, or I probably would have had a bigger scar than I do right now. You can hardly even see, and this is where I had the piercing, right? So it just looks like a little cut right there. And you know, it's gonna heal over, and you're not gonna even notice that I had a piercing there. So now I have to ask myself, once it's healed and once this whole quarantine thing is over, will I get it repierced? And to be honest, I don't know if I want to go through that whole process again of getting it repierced and then it rejecting again. Um, who knows why it re my skin rejected it. it? I mean, it's a foreign object, right? Your body is going to be pushing that stuff out for some quicker than others. Um, and it doesn't even matter. You could be doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Now, I mean, even now, this one is still bothering me a little bit and hopefully you know it doesn't come rejecting but if it does then what can you do um it was a great experience having them i really like them i still recommend them i just say to everyone just you know keep just keep that in your mind that they are high they're on the high range of rejection so just keep that in mind and um yeah just have fun with them right so anyway, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the photos that I have at the end just to show you what I had, what I was going through throughout the process of it rejecting. So anyway, thanks guys. See you in my next video.